welcome. It's Thursday's video. It's uploaded late again, I think. Um, I sort of, um, this week has not been my week. Oh, look at my bangs. I need to get them trimmed um, for shooting because it seems like everything I was gonna do got sidetracked with other things. So I have to do better planning, um, but bear with me. Um, so today's a little bit different. I like literally just came up with this a few minutes ago because I was hoping my boxy charm was gonna be here, but it's not because I live in Canada and there was, there's, they've changed custom things. So BoxyCharm is going to be a bit behind this month, but that's okay. It actually brought me to something else. Um, so I've now sort of branded myself everything Stacey Liam because I dabble in a lot of things and the last little bit, it's been a lot of like makeup beauty stuff, which is totally fine. It's one of my passions. If you hear my dog barking, he's like very angry at people that walk by. So I apologize. Um, but there's so much more stuff I'm into. Like, you know, we haven't done a mixology. So at the end of what I'm about to do, we're gonna do a bit of a mixology. And yeah, so today I, um, thought what I would do, because I was actually getting ready to do the small mixology, I realized there was a couple of number products that I have purchased from No Frills that, and like shoppers, um, cause they're both owned by the Loblaws brand, of uh, President's Choice, their brand President's Choice. And I was like, I'm just gonna show you guys some of the things that I love from President's Choice. And like, Four of them are brand new, and one of them is something that I've been obsessed with for like over, I don't know, two years that they've probably had it. But yeah. So yeah, let's start. Um, so the first thing is something I picked up on the weekend. I so love it. So I love teas. I love trying new teas. I love like when there's different tastes, like, cause sometimes I just don't want the same old thing, right? So this is President's Choice Ginger Peach Herbal Tea. It is so delish, guys. So delish. I got it in my Maryland mug that my friend Kylie gave me for her birthday. It's my favorite mug. It's not too strong. Sometimes ginger can be very overpowering for a lot of people. It's sort of like the secondary taste. like. The underlying like you you taste the peach first which that's what I would want because it's such peaches can be such a refreshing taste and then to be combined with the ginger I just I love it it's a, a very good taste so I love this I think it was like 349 and you get 20 individual wrapped tea bags and it's naturally caffeine free and it's lively and fruity it's described so that's my new thing and um, so these next two things, I bought them. Okay, so the one I bought right around Christmas, so I'm hoping they're gonna have it on a regular basis. I was a bit nervous there because it was right after Christmas, they seemed to be sold out, so I just sort of wrote it off that it was gonna be a seasonal thing, but they seem to have stocked up again at No Frills. And this is frozen pom pomegranate. So I love pomegranate, but I hate freaking having to like peel it apart. A lot of times the pomegranate will sit in my fridge without getting taken care of, like peeled. But this is such a great alternative. Um, I've yet to open it, but um, I have like went through like three or four packs, but it's great. You can throw it in your water just to have like, just to freshen your water, like not freshen your water up, but like to give your water a bit of a taste and so it's not so boring and it's so pretty. To throw this in punch or even wine or champagne it would just be so beautiful it's like so beautiful crazy as it sounds and they taste delicious like they literally taste like once they've de thought of it um how they coming out of a fresh pomegranate but they're super i like them when they're frozen because i actually th blah, i throw them in my um plain Greek yogurt and stir it all up and it's just so good and there's some like because they're a bit crunchy there's something so satisfying with that so this is a big favorite of mine I just love it I just love everything about it the next one is something I got I think I got this two weeks ago and it's not until like I 
forgot I had it in my freezer and then I noticed and I came up with a couple of great things. So frozen avocado, this is another thing. I love avocado, love it. Um, sometimes though, I don't get to them right away and they end up mushy. And um, these like, they're, they're really, I'll just show you. Cause I'm the only one who eats them in my house. They sort of come out like this. But um, the other day what I did with it, so these would be great to like throw into your smoothies or like whatever. Um, the other day what I did with it, I had made chili up and it was so boiling hot, I couldn't eat it right away. So I just threw a bunch of chunks of this in it and it cooled it down a bit. It was so delicious, so delicious. Um, so the nice thing with this, it's saving you from having to cut a freaking avocado up, which isn't like the hardest thing in the world, but it saves it from going rotten. I don't eat mine fast enough, apparently. And I also threw this in a salad. Like I let them um, dethaw it and then threw it in my salad later and it was so good, so good. So I like, however you, so I think it gives like, it gives a recipe on how to make guacamole on the back. But I think this is like so convenient, well worth the price. Like I didn't think it was all that expensive. I forget how much I paid, but the matter the other thing this was something I discovered before Christmas too and my husband actually really liked it and it's delicious it is potato and bacon flatbread and it's like ready in 11 minutes and I will be making this after I'm done shooting this video and it's just like flatbread and like the combination of like the bacon and the potato it's like you don't like the bacon on a flatbread totally get it but the potato, it is just, it's really, really, really good. There's also like a chicken one you can get that's not too bad, but this one's like my favorite, my favorite. And it's like savory fried potatoes, so they're fried. Um, it's almost like hash browns. So that's another one of my favorites. And this is like something I've been obsessed with, like obsessed, I think, how did I find? I was with my best friend. We went to her friend Amber's house. Amber had this. Shout out to Amber if you watch this. Um, and she had the sweet heat from President's Choice mustard. I love this. I put it on like I sometimes my husband and I will cook sausages up and we'll both just like cut them up and like do dips. This is what I use for a dip. I love it. Um, and it's good on like your hamburgers or whatever. So sweet heat, it does have a bit of sweetness, but there's a he nice heat to it, makes it all around. And it's just like a medium heat. So yeah, so those are like, some are my new favorite products from President's Choice and you know the sweet heat. So that's from President's Choice. So now I thought we would um, make a drink, a mixology, and we're gonna do it based off of the ginger peach tea. So, Remember the infused alcohols I did? So I'm taking some infused vodka and we're gonna put a little bit of it. We're not using this whole thing. So I'm gonna put it in our mixer. Mm. Depends on how strong you want it. So we put some of that in. And then I have, remember around Christmas, I got this from Shoppers. So Laba's company. So Laba's Corporation's watching. Oh my God, guys, should have had this peeled off. They have this. Okay, so this is the peach Bellini mixer from Sam and Riley. Remember, I got all these from there. Oh my gosh. So sorry about that, guys. Like there was a plastic thing on the top and I had to go do something. So I didn't want to like, so. If you were like, what the hell just happened there? That's what happened. So, I mean, we're just gonna pour this whole thing in here. I probably have way too much vodka in here, but that's totally fine. Worst comes to worst, you know what? I can just add some of my tea in it. Maybe we'll do that for good luck. This is us being creative on a whim. It smells freaking delish, I'll say that right off the bat. Give it a little shake. Shake, shake, shake. I got this at um, Value Village for dirt cheap for $4.99. And it is a Canadian club. So we're gonna shake it up. 
I think that's good. What do you guys say? No, I gotta get the, oh jeez. I'm having problems today. Look how pretty it looks. So I'm sorry about the lighting. I'm upstairs in my dining room and the lights, the lighting's starting to go down. So here it is, let's try it. Smells freaking delish. Mm, I'm actually really glad I poured some of that tea. See, experiment with the things. This is really good. Oh my gosh, I wonder, I'm gonna look into if you can get more of these because I would actually have that peach on hand. I'm obsessed with peach. Who doesn't love peach? I love peach, that's what I'm saying. You can actually get frozen peaches in the president's, president's choice as well. Just an FYI. So yeah, that's today's video. Um, sorry I rambled a bit. But I just wanna thank everyone for tuning in and we will see everyone Sunday. And those of you who are new, please like and please subscribe. Share with your friends maybe. Um, and just to let everyone know, reminder, it's a reminder that I post every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. And go to my face, new Facebook page because I do Facebook Live. I think I'm gonna start doing it at nine. Um, but you, if you go to my Facebook page and start to follow, I'll keep you guys updated. And please remember to like, that's a big thing when it comes to YouTube, because the more people that like it, it's sort of, there's like this whole thing, it will, more people that like it will, it's just not necessarily about views, they will it, suggest it to other people. I don't know how it works. But yeah, so please like, please subscribe, only if you want to, only if you like me. But what's not to like? So we're gonna see you guys later. That was awkward. <laughs>